Hey guys, it's me. And you know why, actually? Yeah. Where? Why are we here? You didn't save here. Yeah. First attempt, I failed, so I decided to go back, fight the gym leader. First go. Save here. Now I'm gonna go into my deck, and you know what? I'm gonna modify this deck, okay? Or actually, no, I'm not gonna modify this deck. I'm gonna make a new deck, okay? What are we gonna put in the new deck? We're gonna put everything that he's gonna do. So, okay, the problem... Okay, yeah. The problem with these decks is that, unfortunately, your cards don't carry over, which is actually a very annoying thing. Um... So basically, we'll just pretty much work it off this one. So firstly, we're going to get rid of any grass types. I know I specialize in the grass types, but we're going to skip on the grass types. As much as I love Scyther and Pinsler, they never came up in my match. Uh, Squirtle will get annoying. Shelter, Krabbies, King... Oh, I've got way too many Kinglers. Goldian Sea King. Uh, Staryu and Starmie. We'll throw in Magic Up match. Gyarados, Lapras, Vaporeon, and Articuno. We'll throw them in. Okay? Uh, Water Energies will max... Wow. I'm sorry, Sound. What happened to you? Uh... Other than that, yeah. Uh, as for... Stuff, we'll lower that Jigglypuff. Keep Hankus gone and keep... One Eevee. Okay? Okay? We're good? Uh, what else? Um... I need those two double colors that I've got. You never know. Um, energy search. Energy removal. I only need one more revive, so. We may not go max on all these. Wow, that's music! I, I, I really don't know what's with it. Uh, it's, it's definitely the ROM just not being nice, but... Okay, that's our new deck. The diary says so. Okay, let's run to this battle. <laughs> so yeah, you fight this guy every time after the second gym. Oh, always after the second gym, but only once. And if you lose, yeah. So his deck is mostly comprised of fire type, but he also gets his war turtle and whatever stuff out. Now war turtle can deal 40 damage in one attack and no strings attached. So that's why I'm I'm thinking I've changed all my deck just to be a water type. Uh, hopefully a call the family. Actually, I'll go Goldie to start off. So it's a proper match, you know, six cards. I don't know where we're exactly playing this. We're in the foil. Uh, plus powers and Pokeballs are very ideal. Um, hold on. What's this other one? Squirtle. Great. Uh, I feel like Gust of Wind. It's Squirtle. Yes, Gust of Wind, you get to choose who you want to go through, so of course the computer will be a jerk about it. Now, as long as the Squirtle doesn't use anything. The squ this Squirtle is very good at defending against attacks. Now, he thinks, oh, he's going to get away with it. I seem to always get the plus, two plus powers at once. Uh, Pokeball, come on! Dang it. So I'm out of cards in my hand, I'm hand free, yeah. Water energy, okay, that's good. I seem to be getting my water energies a lot. Also in past battles, I never got water energies. Now he does have a Marowak, but he doesn't seem to play it that often. And so does he with the Charmeleon, but he always gets that war turtle out. I don't really remember that he got both of them. But my reckon and a John Mealy now. And this is from experience playing this. I'm not looking at anything up in the guide. It's just that all these failed attempts. Like this is my fifth go. The fourth one was a bit of a soppy one because I was like, yeah, I'm stuffed straight away. The rest of them were proper attempts. I got pretty far in them, but unfortunately he seemed to beat me with like 10 HP left. Oh Kingler, that's great. Uh hopefully we can get Kingler out. Keep using. Oh, I don't know about flail, but we get. I'm gonna do it when we get crab out around. So you want Cubone to get some uh, damage on him. Unfortunately, keep using Cubone. Oh, that's the problem with my deck. I've got freaking grass managers going around in it. Wait, what does Snivel do? So 
any damage is reduced by pointing. Okay, I, I want to get that horn attack and then I want to swap to crab hammer. Or at least let him attack me first. Except I'm going for him evolving. I, I see that kind of happening rather. Oh no, never done. Stop using Snivel! You're wasting our time! I should really just end my turn instead of constantly hitting him. Oh, come on! Get off that! Oh, two kinglies. Come on, get off it! Okay, come on! Okay. Attack me! For once, attack me! Well, I got a different Pokemon, so... Use that double energy there. <sighs> oh, finally attack- Oh gosh, he's gonna- he's gonna evolve. He's gonna evolve something- Oh, he's gonna paralyze me. Oh, thank goodness! Yes! Okay. Because I know it'll be a problem. Uh, hold on, not crabby. Um... King Lark can do 40 damage, now... Retreat. No retreat cost. Boom! Yeah! Revive, yeah, that's... that's... that's good. You no, know, revive does seem handy, but it's only handy against weak... Oh, crap. Well, at least you're going back to the one I can hit. Yeah, I don't care if you kill them. Well, I do care, but not too much. The other reason why I went for water is because, of course, he goes for the fire type lot. Uh, energy search, I may as well just go get water. Great thing about energy search, you can search your deck for energy. And that includes colorless. Oh no, it doesn't include colorless. Hold on. Hold on, I can look this up! To the discard pile! Basic energy, I don't know. What else does it mean? Um, put the water on. I don't know who. Oh yeah, hold on, I got a. Did I get enough Pokemon? No, I didn't. Just keep using Crab Hammer! Yeah! This is like my Ivysaur trick, isn't it? Ivysaur? Venusaur. Just constantly dealing 40 damage. Well, then again, that's kind of what his War Turtle's doing. Constantly dealing 40 damage. Huh. So this is what it feel this water portal feels like. I keep playing these Pokemon that have 40 health. That doesn't help too much when he just constantly kills them. Wow. As soon as I change my deck, the whole thing changes. Great, that's Jugong, yes. You can put the double colors on the seal. Evolve into Jugong. Keep his crab out of Oh gosh. This fight is surprisingly too easy now that I've changed my deck. Oh, wrong, wrong energy. I'm gonna go for the water energy. As long as he doesn't evolve it. Or got the win. Wait, 10? Really? I mean, I know he's got the double book. <laughs> I can change my weakness, apparently. Did I do this so much easily? Because now that means I've actually got stuff to do in the part, which kind of sucks. 
because I didn't plan for this. <laughs> I was trying this on. So yeah, he gives you promotional cards. People love promotional cards. So this is a special Jigglypuff. It's got a resistance to Psychic, which is kind of weird. Or at least Jigglypuff is supposed to be Psychic type, so I guess it's okay. Um, no, it's Jigglypuff's normal type, isn't it? I don't know, stuff it. Uh, so you can remove damage counter, and you can do double edge, which is a pretty strong move anyway. You know, not too, not too great, but it's a basic Pokemon that can deal 40 damage. And it's colorless. Uh, the other thing is I should probably reel my mail, because he tells people how to be self-destruct. He gives you energy boosters. Uh, so we got Weedle, Poison Sting, Basics, Rap Dash. Uh, uh, this one, this isn't a champ. This is pretty awesome. His, uh, he's got 100 health, which is quite a lot. When your opponent's attack damages my champ, uh, this power does 10 damage to the attacking Pokemon. That is a great power. And then also, 60 damage move. <laughs> so basically, it's like Solar Moon, except he also does 10 damage for every time he gets it to hit himself. Uh, he also got, you know, forever. Pidgey knows Whirlwind, which basically, you get to choose which of the opponent's bench Pokemon you get to go to, and whatever. So yeah, that's about it. It's not really anything else. You can talk to this guy to try and trade your Electabuzz. Because this one is also a promotional. The level 35 one, which I already owned. I don't know why I didn't trade with this guy before. But this one is quite special. Um, it's 60 damage, 60 health. But he does light screen. So the next... So the next... Um, Uh, the next attack only does half damage and it rounds down, which is very nice. Uh, and that's not by coin flip, that's just all the time. Uh, and then you can also do just, you know, the quick attack. So this guy's always like, yeah, it's cool. Um, hold on, I'll, ju I'll just look up something for a second. Oh, safe. Always safe. Okay, there's some other things that we should possibly do. If we go back to the rock club... Uh, and we talk to one of these people. Yeah. So this person talks about Ishihara having a rare card. This triggers an event where if you go to Ishihara's... Yeah. If you have a Clefable, then you can trade it and they'll, and Ishihara will give you the flying Pikachu, I believe. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's some other ones. Um, who else? Uh, you can go to the Psychic Club. We might do the Psychic Club next, I don't know. Uh... Go on. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, this guy just does a deck. Hold on. Yeah, this guy says... Yeah. This one, this guy's very important, because if you ask him to beat Murray, who is the gym leader or whatever, and then you actually do it, he'll give you a card, and you have to talk to him before you do it as well. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's very important. Uh, what else? I don't feel like going into another battle, unfortunately, but, um, there's some other traits in the other ones, in the other places. Um, by the way, you know that challenge hold, uh, ah, yes. So yeah, some people in the fire club. Apparently you need lots of energy cards, I don't know, for this guy. Actually, he will take all your energy cards. So, make sure you make a deck, apparently, for that guy. Uh, we go to the Science Club, yeah. That's a weird one, isn't it? These guys, these guys are all science related, but basically, yeah. This guy also triggers the event, another event, where basically Ishihara will trade for two Surfing Pikachus. You need a... There's two different surfing pictures, but actually no. Depends on Arlo. But Ishara will do more trades and whatever. Other than that, just other people will just talk about trades themselves. <laughs> if I use muck now, I lost. 
all that fun stuff. We'll be talking to these guys pretty much again. What else we can do? We could do it. We could go to the grass club. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. This is a. This is an important trade. Uh, trade the oddish. Okay, for Vileplume. Now this Vileplume is. I should have looked at that card. Now here's the thing. Go to your diary. Save. Restart. You may be wondering what the heck. Hold on, what? Pikachu, really? For a Clefairy. Trade that, as well. You also get another promotional Pikachu, which is pretty handy. I'm not going for every card, because there's two cards that you can't get anyway. <laughs> uh, they're based on the card pop thing. So this one has Growl and Thundershock. But, you know, so this reduces the next attack by 10. I don't know, this one's kind of funky. Uh, that's always fun. Uh, this one goes for girls in the grass club, you know. This is not one of those trainers. Um, uh, just a few of the prizes are just by beating the challenge hall, which is timed after certain gyms. So you gotta do it after the third gym and the fifth gym. You gotta remember that. This person actually, actually triggers the Imakumi person, who we may actually... If we see Imakumi, I will definitely fight them, because they are terribly easy. Oh yeah, I should take my Lapras out of the deck. Okay, hold on. Modify deck. Uh, da 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 Lapras. Uh, da 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 I don't know. More grass, I don't know. Save. Back it up. I don't care if I'm training these cards, because these cards are promotional, you can't get them out of in boost packs, but I can definitely at least get other ones. So this Arc 9 is pretty awesome, because he's got his quick, the regular quick attack, except this one's kind of funky. It does 10 and then does 20, so it's kind of worse. Uh, but this one also does, it's got 2 energies to attack to the Arc 9, we'll do this card. 40 damage plus 10 for more for each count, counter, which is pretty good. Uh, which is very good. Um, okay, so we're basically going around. Uh, this is the fighting club. The fighting club is the most weird, as I may as well talk about this right now. It says, I am Mitch, master of the fighting club. I have to warn you that you will be unable to defeat me, but you must defeat my pupils first. And then, his pupils are actually go all around. Oh gosh, that music actually... Yep, that's him. Uh, just diary it. I said diary it. Okay, hold on. That music, you're gonna be like, what the heck? Uh, this guy in the fighting uh, club, by the way, he, uh, wants to take a lot of your cards. Uh, now, go along with this. He will give you a pretty cool card anyway. Uh, hold on. Now, I'll diary this up. We're gonna fight this guy. Who, who, who are you? Who? Me? You don't know who I am? I am the Super Musical Star Imakuni! He's got a question mark in his actual name. That's kind of weird. I'll sing the pokey rap you dance. La di da, la di da, la di da, la di da. Hey, move those feet. What cards? You want to duel me? Okay, but if I win, you dance. Yeah, you're thinking, okay, this is a weird guy. Okay, I won match duel with six prizes. Whatever that means. <laughs> he looks really stupid, but you know what? He's a, he is an actual person in Japan who is supposedly promoting the game, I don't know. And he is in this game, and he's kind of a weird person. But, weird person means weird deck. Now we got a star you on there, which kind of sucks. Now you're thinking, oh gosh, he's got a bunch of Pokemon, so he's obviously a very good trainer, although I'll probably lose. This is a weird part, okay? He's got a card of himself. Now look at this description, okay? Your active Pokemon is now confused. Imakuni wants you to play him as a basic Pokemon, but you can't. A mysterious creature not listed in the Pokédex. He asks kids around the world, who is cuter, Pikachu or me? And your own Pokemon is confused. I'm not kidding, that's his deck. So, and he's weak to himself as well, that really helps. 
So not only does he have like a pedophiliac card or whatever, he is also got the worst strategy ever, just to hurt himself. I don't know whether it's supposed to be like a deep meaning or whatever, but I don't know. I just don't get. I don't exactly get it. But yeah. Also, I don't know why he talks about missing missing no or whatever. Now you may be wondering, are you serious? That was... yeah. Now this is the side that we've never played this- Oh gosh, yeah, he also plays Imakumi a lot. Um... Yeah. So yeah, he's kind of a weird person. Uh, we've never seen this side act before, so... Your opponent can't play another- uh, train of cards during his or her next turn, that's kind of weird. And then also just Fury swipes in on the regular. Stuff. Except now Psyduck so confused himself, so... Yeah. And he f doesn't even bother attacking, by the way. So yeah, this is pretty much the main reason why I love this game, because this guy is in it. It's weird as, but it's awesome. Just for no reason, I, I find it awesome. Oh, wait, he's actually attacking me! <gasps> so he deals 20 damage on his first attack, even though I already done, killed two of his Pokemon, which is... Yeah. Should I say... Should I stop saying kill? I don't know. I'm too lazy to say faint, especially in a card game, because you can basically just say remove from play, or to send to the discard pile. But, you know, may as well just say it like it is. Wow! He's got good luck, though. Now, if you beat this guy three or three and six times, three and six, he will give you a special card. Guess what that card is? It's the Imakumi card. We'll be attempting to fight this guy as many times as possible, also because he gives you some very good cards. Well, he's an easy trainer, so it's great to get some mystery cards, I believe he gives. It's really bad when you kill yourself, well, when you die on your own turn, just because then they get the first attack against you. So, yeah. I'm having a lot of trouble with this guy. Oh, gosh. Yes, lots of trouble. So much trouble, I'm gonna put some chocolate in my mouth. Oh, nom, nom. I believe we've never seen the Psyduck. Psyduck? This isn't the Psyduck, it's a Slowpoke. He's got Headbutt and he's got Amnesia, which allows you to prevent them from using an attack. Is that flip a coin? No, that's just a shoes. Okay. Yeah. Very difficult. He doesn't even attack or whatever. Just let it slide. This guy is very easy. Oh, what a coincidence. I'd like to thank the Academy. And then he says, don't tell anyone. Or it gives you... No! The great thing about this guy is that he gives you one of each. Boost pack. So he gives you 40 cards in total for beating him. And that's one from every single set. So that's the best part. He get, you can get pretty much any card you like. Or you you get the possibility of getting any card you like from him. Unfortunately, we've got way too many of those. It's great to get some evolutions. The Furry Doll was a weird one. 
play as if it were a basic Pokemon while in play. It counts as a Pokemon. Uh, it has no attacks, can't retrain, can't be uh, statused. If it's knocked out, it doesn't count as a knocked out Pokemon at any time during your turn before you attack. You may discard the fairy. The fairy doll. So basically, I believe it takes uh, 30 damage or 10, 10 damage. It's basically a filler, it, and you don't take um, you don't lose a prize for it, for that as well. I believe, see, I believe the mysterious fossil also does this. It counts as a Pokemon, but. Uh, the thing with Mysterious Fossil is that it actually has some use. Um, what else? Gastly. There's a War Turtle, so you can withdraw. So flip a coin if heads prevent all damage, and then just kill a attack. Also, Pokemon Foot. Choose one basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile and put it into his or her bench, which is actually kind of a weird idea, but think about it. If they have a really crummy Pokemon, you can put it back on the bench and let it die again. So we've got a Mystery. We've got the Electrode, which does Tackle and Chain Lightning, we went up this when he was in Closer, this one's a cool one. 50 health, which is pretty low, although Shell has got 30. But Clamp, flip coin of heads, the defending Pokemon is now par paralyzed, but if Tails it doesn't do anything. But 30 damage is quite a lot. And I Spike Cannon, 2 coins, 30 for each head, which is pretty good. That's pretty cool. The Rhyhorn, oh gosh. And a Laboratory, which we've never really done in the Laboratory. Uh, Magneton. Arbok, Terror Strike, which flip a coin if heads, uh, and if your opponent has any bench Pokemon, he or she chooses one of them and switches it with the defending Pokemon, and this one points and the defending Pokemon is now poison full stop. Gas, Funky Other, Ghastly, this one knows Lick, flip a coin if heads, Paralyze, and put up two cards from your discard pile into your hand, and that gas is a stand to itself. Onyx, this one's cool. Gambler, oh gosh, we skip maintenance anyway. Maintenance, shuffle two of the other cards from your hand into your deck in order to draw a card. That's kind of weird. Gambler, shuffle your hand into your deck. Flip a coin of heads, draw eight cards, tip tails, draw one. That's, yeah. That's a really weird one. Uh, horsey, smoke screen instantly. If your opponent tries to attack, it's like, um, Sandshrew pretty much. Uh, recycle. If flip a coin, if heads, put a card in from your discard pile on top of your deck, which is a good one. This is a funky tangler. It knows bind, which if heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed and poison power. It's it's considering it's got less of a level, it's actually got some more powerful moves, which is kind of weird. And we got Dodge Duo, which knows Fury Attack. Okay, that's it. You know Fury Attack. You know. And then he goes outside, and the music is regular for once. Now I'm sorry I sat you all through that, but let's. Play it again. Let's play this game again. Sometime later. I'll see you guys next time. Woo!